Mitosis is the process of cell division in which a cell divides into two new cells, each containing the same number of chromosomes. The main functions of mitosis are growth and repair for the rest of the organism's life. Okay, let's begin with the theoretical aspects of mitosis, followed by that which we see in the meristematic region of a root section. The first stage of mitosis is prophase. First, let us look at an annotated drawing of prophase, showing the cell wall, the nuclear membrane, the nucleus with the chromatin network, the darkened area within the nucleus is the nucleolus, and this is surrounded by the cytoplasm contained within the cell wall. During prophase, chromosomes become visible as elongated threads throughout the nucleus. Then they shorten and become thicker and coil. The nuclear membrane and nucleolus break down and disappear. The two centrioles separate and move to opposite ends of the cell. Spindle threads join each pole at the end of the cell. Metaphase Metaphase commences when pairs of chromatids are arranged at the equator of the cell and become attached to the spindle threads. The chromatids are held together by the centromere. Contraction of the spindle threads draws the individual chromatids slightly apart. Anaphase. This stage is very rapid. Chromatids of each chromosome separate at the centromere and one of each of the sister chromatids are pulled to opposite poles of the cell by spindle threads. The chromatids group together at each pole of the cell. Telophase. Mitosis ends with telophase. The chromatids are now referred to as chromosomes and having reached the poles of the cells, uncoil and lengthen. A plate forms across the equator of the cell, dividing the cytoplasm and separating into two complete new cells. This is called cytokinesis, the division of the cytoplasm. A nuclear membrane forms around each set of daughter chromosomes. All other structures in the nucleus reappear, such as the nucleolus. The cell then goes into interphase and carries out its normal cellular activities. It is during interphase that the cell grows and copies its chromosomes in preparation for cell division again. Now let's look at mitosis in meristematic tissues. Mitosis can be demonstrated in the growing root tip of the onion plant. This is a section of the onion root tip just below the proliferous region. This section clearly demonstrates the mitotic figures and one can easily discern the various stages of mitosis. Starting with prophase, the chromosomes become more visible within the chromatin network. In late prophase, the nuclear membrane and the nucleolus start to disintegrate while the chromosomes become thicker and more obvious. The two centrioles separate and start to move to opposite poles of the cell. 
However, this cannot be seen in this preparation. Next is metaphase, which shows the chromatids aligning on the equator of the cell and attaching to the spindle threads. Contraction of these threads draws the chromatids apart, which leads to the next phase, anaphase. This shows sister chromatids of each chromosome separated from each other and pulled to opposite poles by contraction of the spindle threads. This is a very rapid phase. The chromatids group together at each pole of the cell and then finally telophase. This is the final stage in cell division. The chromatids are now referred to again as chromosomes. When these chromosomes reach the opposite end of the cell, a nuclear membrane reforms around them. During telophase, the chromosomes decondense and revert to their thread-like form. After completion of nuclear division, a plate can be seen to grow across the equator of the cell, separating the two halves, and this is called cytokinesis, or the division of the cytoplasm. The result is two complete and identical daughter cells, which then go into interphase and carries out its normal cellular activities.